All right, so the next stitch is called the hemming stitch or the whip stitch. And we use this um, as a finished stitch on the bottom of skirts, on pants, um, to stitch anything that you don't really want to see your stitching on the outside of the fabric. So you can see this is the mimicking the inside of the fabric with a folded up hem. And then the outside, you can see the stitches are really tiny. Um, and if I had used a thread that was a similar color to this muslin, you really wouldn't be able to see them at all. But I wanted you to be able to see um, the little stitches. So they're in black here. Um, and you can see um, this is what the inside looks like. So with the hemming stitch, you're again going to want to tie a knot in the end of um, your thread and you're going to use a single thread for this one. So you're taking the end of your thread, wrapping it around your needle, and then pulling it off the back. And then I'm going to just trim that. And to start, um, you're going to stitch just up from behind the folded up section of your fabric. And that'll hide the knot in between the two layers of fabrics that you have. So this stitch, the goal is to sort of take as small of a stitch on the front of the fabric and then your stitch will be bigger through the folded up part. So you're going to take a little stitch and then your needle is going to sort of continue through the folded part and come up through that folded part. So just a little stitch and then through the folded area. And when you start out, your stitches on the front might be pretty large, but as you sort of get the feel for the stitch, you can um, sort of fine tune how big your stitches are, especially on the back of the fabric that you don't wanna be seeing. So you're just going to continue stitching and then coming up through the folded part of your fabric. And the stitches should be about um, a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch um, apart. And you don't want to pull too tight. Um, you want to sort of leave it so it's nice and flat. And that'll help um, keep the stitches on the front um, in more invisible because there won't be um, as much of a pucker. And then once you get to the end of your fabric or whatever you're hemming, you're going to tie off just like you did with um, your other stitches. So you're going to take a stitch right where your thread is coming out and you're going to take the end of your thread and wrap it around the needle and then you're going to pull it up through and that creates the knot. And then you're just going to stitch over that and you just with the knots on um, the hemming stitch you want to make sure that you're just stitching through the folded up part of your um, fabric so you won't see where the knot is on the back. And then you can just trim that. And you can see the hemming stitch and you can see the stitches on the back are pretty small um, and that is how you do the hemming stitch.